there is a way with the Rode NTG2 Stereo Condenser Mic. Now we've all wanted those great sounding home movies, and sometimes it's just too late to realize how good or bad that they sound. I want to take you to Rapid City, South Dakota, where I've met a man who's going to demonstrate what a camera will sound like with and without the Rode NTG2 mic. See if you can hear the difference. Hi, so I'm uh, sitting out here with my camera, no microphone attached, and uh, this is what it sounds like. Do 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 bop, do do bop bop bop, yeah! Do 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 do, yeah! Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back. I got my uh, microphone hooked up. I'm happy you're here to uh, hear me. <laughs> All right. Do 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 do, yeah 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 yeah. Oh, yeah 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 yeah. So much better, right? <laughs> Did you hear the difference? Its full frequency response, low noise and audio transparency, make it an ideal film, video, and voiceover microphone. And with its low weight, at only 5.7 ounces without the battery, makes it an ideal boom microphone. You know what? I even think I heard him sound a little bit better with that microphone attached. Do 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 do, yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I would like to try an experiment to show you the risk that you will take without having the Rode NTG2 mic attached to your camera. Stand up and call two people over. They could be your friends, cousins, aunts, uncles, teachers, whatever. I want one of them to blow in your ear like this young gentleman will do for me today. Not yet, good sir. All right. Come on, come back. Just no blowing. Okay. Now, while he is blowing, I want you to try to talk to somebody either physically or through the phone at the same time while having the blowing in your ear to kind of get that effect of what wind can do to audio quality. Now, one, two, three, begin. Yeah, how's it going? Uh huh. Yeah, oh, what'd you say? I can't. I, can't understand you. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Okay, we're done. Hopefully you got the point in that uh, demonstration. Uh, it's pretty annoying, isn't it? <laughs> the Rode NTG2 microphone, a powerful tool to give you that quality sound you have always desired, backed by a 10-year warranty. The emotions I was trying to evoke from the audience in this uh, commercial was a little bit of humor. Um, the humor aspect is something I actually researched in the library and how it actually connects the audience to the product in a way that they remember from the humor aspect and it makes them visit it, gets them talking, uh, they'll be at the water cooler or something like that saying, hey, did you see that funny commercial where that guy was blowing in that guy's ear or something like that. Um, the other emotion that I was trying to evoke was a little bit of fear. Um, and with being a filmmaker myself, we strive for perfection when we go out there on the field and sometimes we just have to shoot outside and, and nature can have its toll on you. And I just really wanted to show um, how dangerous it might be to go out there without a microphone attachment to kind of control that audio out there to make sure that you know you have the best quality footage possible. So that's kind of how I evoked the, the fear aspect in this. I went about evoking these emotions in my commercial. Um, with the humor aspect, I uh, got a good friend of mine uh, named Jesse. He and I have done a lot of comedy aspects, uh, comedy shows and stuff like that together. Um, and we, in this situation, I called him up and said, hey, you, I'm going to have you blow in my ear and this over-the-top thing to get a little bit of humor in the commercial. I mean, it's just ridiculous to have someone blowing in your ear. Um, not to mention the whole um, scene where there's a musician downtown trying to sing over-the-top, um, just the over-the-top aspect, um, and, and Jesse to me is just a really funny guy. He just he just has that awkward sense about him. He, he can he can really do good in these situations. So and when I thought of evoking humor in the commercial, he's instantly what I thought of uh, to bring his his uh, light-hearted um, kind of like the dumb puppy charm that he has at at, at times. And as far as the fear emotion, um, that's where I threw in the. Um, 
the situation with the musician downtown to kind of show the difference of, uh, it was kind of a windy day, so it kind of had some wind blowing in the camera, we had traffic in the background, so it just kind of made it um, see the difference. It, it showed you the fear um, of filming uh, without a microphone. We, we just don't want to see that as filmmakers um, when we get to the editing room floor, uh, especially first timers who may not know um, the dangers of that aspect. I applied all three cognitive learning styles in my creative piece. Um, Audio-wise, I showed the, the difference uh, how the mic can be on the camera, so that was my audio aspect. My visual was the different locations that I had downtown, a beautiful shot downtown uh, Rapid City, um, the background that I had behind me. I just tried to make it as pretty as possible um, in, in the visual aspect, and of course the, there was some visual humor too of, of my friend Jesse blowing in my ear and such like that. Um, as far as the kinesthetic, of course, that was the demonstration that we had uh, where we asked them to have a couple friends uh, get together, one blow in their ear, the other talk, and see how annoying it would be. So that's kind of how I applied the kinesthetic version.